All right, nice rally today in the markets. An interesting stat here on millennials. You know, high, higher mortgage rates are not uh, deterring that group from buying homes, maybe actually inspiring them to do so. Home ownership rates at five-year highs for millennials. Jerry Willis is here. What's going on here? It's kind of interesting. Well, you know, this is really fascinating, I think, Connell, and we may have to rethink what we make of millennials' propensity to buy housing, right? Everybody said millennials don't want to ever buy. They only want to rent. Well, maybe they only want to rent when housing is out of reach. So you're seeing a pop-up here uh, in these numbers. I just want to say you may look at that 36.8 uh, number and say to yourself, uh, is that really what uh, the home ownership rate is in this country? Well, the total population is at 64.4 percent, that for the third quarter, up from 64.3 percent in the second quarter. Overall, in this marketplace, there's another 1.5 million Americans who own their own home year to year. That is very good news. But I, I just think it's fascinating that we're seeing these millennials really participate in this market when so many people have forecast that housing is over, it's done, nobody's ever going to own a house ever again. But but putting it all at risk, and I want to hear what you have to say about this, we've got mortgage rates that are now at 5.11%. Right. I'm getting my number from the Mortgage Bankers Association. Fewer people, 2.5%, fewer people are actually applying for mortgages. So all of this good news, well, maybe it only lasts a little while. Maybe they're just like, you know, the millennial generation gets hammered for all kinds of different things. Maybe they're just... <laughs> growing up and being normal in terms of they say, hey, rates are going to go up, better buy a home now, like anybody would, right? Well, and I think, you know, look, it's kind of embedded in our culture that people own their own homes, and there actually sure. are fundamental financial reasons why it makes sense to own a home. For example, this is a large financial asset that you can control and borrow against. Right. Uh, your money doesn't go to a landlord. Your money actually goes yeah. into your own purse. So maybe they're realizing all that kind of thing. Yeah, and, um, could be. It's a good story. Interesting story. Jerry, thanks. Most Welcome. Jerry Willis.